this girl who went to school with the Saudi royal family, um, I met her because she set an appointment with me to do tutoring. I was a English tutor, I was a writing tutor, and um, she didn't actually get accepted to my college. Um, they actually rejected her, and she was trying to figure out how to get, how to stay there. Um, I tutored her, and then um, she was like, "Do you want to hang out?" Like um, after tutoring, and I was, I was like, "Sure." And I don't know if I knew she was Saudi back then. I just knew she had a neck tattoo of, of Texas. And um, she looked Mexican, basically. Um, and so we hung out. And there were some other guys that were nearby that uh, later I, I started thinking maybe this person is a bodyguard or something. I don't know. Um, and then she, was, she wanted me to give her a ride home. I gave her a ride home. And we went and smoked pot. And there was this... Um, there was this guy there that uh, was an engineer, and he, he, he we talked all about uh, computer progr programming for robotics. And um, that was the first time that I, I started to understand computer code um, and, and how it could be um, used in the, in the physical world, like how, how the code turns into driving in a certain direction. And so that was really cool. I really enjoyed it. And um, so is it is it pretty normal for... Uh, is it a red flag for an American if they see you have, as a Saudi, you have a Texas tattoo on your neck? Yeah, and I think that that's probably why she was pretty open about um, being connected to the Saudi royal family. So, I when I worked as a, as a writing tutor, were there were there people that I thought were spies? <laughs> um, there was one guy that he lived in Ohio at one point. Uh, which is he lived he lived exactly where the Air Force intelligence um, is and he also lived in San Antonio so I was I was kind of suspicious about him he was Chinese um, I, I became very close friends with a Chinese girl who um, she was very a member of the Chinese Communist Party her father was a judge um, and she like her, her the paper that I edited with her the first one she talked about her love of the Chinese Communist Party um, but that doesn't mean she was a spy, but you never know. Um, there was a guy from Pakistan who told me that the Indian government was framing people for terrorist attacks in Pakistan. They were doing terrorist attacks and framing them. Um, I don't know if that was true. Um, later on, I eventually suspected the guy of being involved with a cyber attack on the college network. Um, but he was a pretty cool guy. Like, he's... Um, Spies are, are almost always like the coolest guy. Like it's like the, the coolest person you know. Yeah, here, kill this person. <laughs> that's 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 kind of the philosophy behind uh, sending a spy out is like send someone that it's gonna, they're gonna really not want to kill him. Um, but you never know if that guy was a spy. Um, I don't know. Spies are around, and um, spies are are especially around very military areas. Um, but um, that Saudi girl. I don't know. That Texas tattoo on her neck, that's the weird part. It's like, that's a pretty, it's going pretty far, like, with the Texas thing, but uh, I don't know. I really liked her.